Hey, Officer Drag here with my cousin in law, Juliana May Lover, and today we are going to be talking about post traumatic stress disorder. Uh, causes of PTSD, as in post traumatic stress disorder, can develop after a very stressful, frightening, or distressing event, or after a prolonged traumatic experience. Types of events that can lead to PTSD include serious road accidents, violent personal assaults, such as sexual assault, mugging, or robbery. PTSD has three main symptoms. Hyper... Hyperarousal. Hyperarousal is similar to the jumpy feeling that drinking too much coffee causes. We might experience it as anxiety, agitation, or ir irritability. It is common known as a state of fight or flight or freeze. Intrusions occur when traumatic experiences dating from a person's past breaking through into their consciousness and are experienced as though they are occurring in the present. They are called flashbacks. Avoidance, of course, is an attempt to defend oneself against danger by limiting contact with the world. This can involve withdrawing from others narrowing the range of thoughts. In feelings a person allows him or herself to acknowledge. Avoidance can take the form of repression, like locking the memory of a traumatic event away, denying, failing to, failing to acknowledge that an event which occurred actually happened. What? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Somehow I just knew. Disassociation. Disassociation, alerted, alerted perception or amnesia, memory loss. Survivors, survivors subconsciously use or use any or all of these techniques to survive the trauma of their abuse. Other indicators of PTSD may include panic attacks, uncontrolled. Uncon uncontrollable crying and uncontrollable rage fits. Yes. Overreaction on um, overreaction to minor stress, um, sleep disorders, self um, wait sleep disorders, sense of defilement or stigma, eating disorders. Suicidal feelings, nightmares, self mutilation, state of fight, flight, or freeze, um, somatic pain, terror, addictions of alcohol, drugs, or sex, extreme mood swings, high risk behaviors, shame, um, guilt, and blame feelings. Um, Of course, we're going to talk about why we have PTSD a little bit, and of course, what can, of course, as we explained before, what caused what caused uh, our PS PTSD to come to effect. Of course, as many of y'all know out there from previous videos of mine, that addiction being a disease, of course, mine is of course because of witnessing all the drunk drunk people getting drunk in front of me and just taking just acting out in violence regarding in sexual assault uh, verbal and physical abuse which is like I've said in previous videos it's not the way to handle it it's not the way to handle anything I mean drinking is, isn't the way to handle your issues. I mean, the best way to handle it is, I mean, talk to someone. I mean, find help. I mean, if y'all, whenever people go to drinking, I mean, and drugs, and that just leads them to a life of crime, and I mean, I've been down that road, and I don't, I don't want to go back. I mean, I'm ch I'm trying to change for the better, and that's why I'm making this video because I don't want to end up in 
a place that, again, where I have no freedom. I, I'm i locked down from 8, 8 o'clock at night to so on. I mean, this is not fun at all. So, that's pretty much what caused my PTSD to come in effect. Nibble, seriously? Um, I found out in January of this year I have post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, from, um, my, my cousin, who happens to be four months older than me, has molest, or did molest me, um, when we were younger, um, we were about four or five, maybe younger, I think it was maybe three or four, or something like that, um, he kissed me, and it progressed, and it was disturbing, um, not only that, um, I was severely bullied in school, um, on the bus, in class, about what I wore, um, about my weight. Um, little do people know, I only had one friend until seventh grade, um, and one person I trusted, and being ridiculed. And I remember going to a restaurant after a play we did and everybody was there everybody we went to school was pretty much and there was a ball pit oh yeah it was Brahms okay anyway we were at Brahms and there's a ball pit what do you think happened I was pelted with balls and I was scared um, not only just it just wasn't fair um, I was treated unfairly I had teachers even uh, making fun of me, um, telling me what I could and could not say in class, um, got pissed off that I knew more about the subject of um, their class than they did, stuff like that. Um, I was thrown into IEP classes in the fourth grade and I was also made fun of for that because they called me stupid. Um, I wasn't. I actually got out of IEP math in ninth grade. Very proud of myself. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to talk about triggers. Um, triggers, um, <sighs> triggers, um, trauma triggers are related to PTSD. Um, it's a condition in which people often cannot control the reoccurrence of emotion or physical symptoms of the repressed memories. Um, triggers can be subtle and difficult to anticipate and sometimes can exacerbate the PTSD. For people with PTSD, it is very common for their memories to be triggered by sights and sounds and smells or even feelings that they experience. Um, these triggers can bring back memories of the trauma um, they ca and cause intense emotional and physical reactions such as a raised heart rate, sweating, and muscle tension. Um, my triggers are normally hearing others fight, um, being belittled by someone. It kind of depends on the severity of it. Like if somebody's starting to call me stupid, it takes me back to my childhood. Um, thunderstorms. Every time a thunderstorm happens, I have flashbacks nonstop. I have to put earphones in my ears so I don't hear it. Um, it, it's very unpleasant. Um, also another one of my triggers is unwelcome touches from people I don't know. So, like, somebody grabs my hand. Um, when I was working at the place I used to work, a gentleman grabbed my hand and told me that young girls like to kiss him. Um, I yanked my hand away from him, creeped out, 
um, I sexual harassment. I can't handle that. I I cannot handle a man hitting on me. I I can't. It it messes with me. It 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 triggers flashbacks of my cousin and things that are very inappropriate to talk about on YouTube. It it's disturbing to my core. Um and when I start to feel claustrophobic. Um, when I feel caged in, that is the worst time I have flashbacks. Um, so either I move really fast or I try to stay away from people when I'm at Walmart. Um, I don't like feeling trapped. Um, that is the biggest, um, trigger I have. Um, when I start to get angry, um, about certain things, I could have a flashback. Um, it, it's just, it depends. And they do come out of nowhere sometimes. Um, and when I'm at Walmart and if it happens, I just feel trapped inside my own head. And it, it, it's crazy because it, it, uh, it feels like a filing cabinet with all the files in it and they won't keep the drawers closed. Like I can't keep them locked. And, um, it's to things I don't want to hear or see anymore. I don't want to think about it. I have pretty much a identic memory. I can remember things from when I was three up till now. And I'm 25. So, it's just crazy how much I remember that I shouldn't. Um, I can remember sometimes conversations... I can sometimes um, remember people's names that I haven't seen in years. It's it's just really weird. Um, I'll let you talk about your triggers. My triggers are pretty much about whenever someone mentions their childhood as well as what happened to my me during mine. I mean. I, I can pretty much relate to my cousins, as in me being bullied at school and stuff. It put a lot of stress on me, and it made me, that's what made me end up on the path I did, like I was saying earlier in this video. I mean, that's what put me on that path, is me getting picked on at school all the time. It made me start fighting and just not doing what the teachers wanted me to do, and, I mean, one point in time, I mean, they had to call the police on me at least two or three times at school because I wouldn't move my truck off the school property just because I didn't want to, obviously, and I saw no reason for it to be done. So, I mean, as soon as he got on... As soon as the principal got on the phone with the police, I ended up getting in my truck and speeding off, which ended up getting me pulled over by two cops and put in the back of a police car, being taken back to school, forced forced to stay until the end of the school day. And if I left, I would be arrested. So I decided I'd stay. So I just kept to myself, and I mean, during the seventh period, I ended up leaving again because, I mean, once again, people started picking on me, and of course, I just had to do it to prevent from fighting. So I pretty much just went home during the seventh period and just hid out so nobody could find me. And... That's actually one of the times I did end up getting in trouble with the police because I didn't stay at school like I was told to. But whenever you're getting picked on and teachers won't do nothing, principal won't do nothing, I mean, you really don't have a choice. It's not fair. I mean, it, it isn't fair at all. I mean, it's pretty much you either have the choice of 
fighting fighting the person and going to jail for self defense or just flat out leaving and or just freezing and not doing anything and not knowing what to do. Yeah, and I mean, I just felt leaving school would be the best option. I went back the next day, told them, look, I'm giving it two more weeks, and if it hasn't stopped by then, I'm going to be dropping out. So, gave it two weeks, it hasn't stopped, so I'm, I just flat out stopped going to school. I mean, and I, it was my senior year, I mean, but it was either, like I said, either drop out or go to jail and have a, and have a criminal record. And I just don't want that for me, my family, or anybody else around me, or my viewers. I mean, but that's what caused mine to come to effect, and that's what my triggers are, pretty much. Um, what helps you sometimes when you get triggered? Mine's normally like music or drawing or editing. I mean, when I've edited your videos, it helps me calm down. Or when I edit pictures and stuff like that, what normally helps you? Usually what helps me is just getting on, playing video games and stuff, listening, just putting on my headphones, listening to loud music, just where I can't hear anything or anybody around me. It's like, I'll barricade myself in my room so nobody can bother me while I'm trying to calm down. Which leads me to another one of my triggers. I, whenever I'm trying to calm down and someone just comes in my room without knocking, I mean, I pretty much yell at them, telling them, look, I'm trying to calm down, you don't come in my room without knocking first, I mean, it, it's just pure, simple common sense, I mean, if someone's angry and they need to calm down, don't go in their room without knocking, because, I mean, one of these, depending on the person, I mean, they may throw something at you, and... I'll admit, I mean, I nearly did that today, so, I mean, but I didn't do it because, of course, it was family yeah. at my grandma's house, and I'm, I'm not going to do that. I um, Another thing that kind of causes anxiety is when you're driving and somebody gets right up your rump and then yeah. goes around you like a speed demon and you're sitting there like almost having a panic attack because it's like really... Yeah, I actually call that stuff fan. That leads me to something. I was to another story. I was on my way home. Me and my grandma was on the way home from Stillwater, and we see this truck driving in opposite lanes, going towards oncoming traffic. I mean, if it wouldn't have been for me calling it in, then that guy would have would have never been caught. I mean, I'm not going to name names, but I will give a shout out to Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Payne County Sheriff's Department, and Payne County Police Department dispatch for taking my call and getting him off the streets. So nobody would, nobody lost their life. Everybody went home safe, including the officers. I mean, it just really put a smile on my face to see that they got them that people off the streets. So I just want to give a big thank you to Payne County Police Department, Sheriff Department, yeah. and Oklahoma Highway Patrol because they're really doing a good job. And to the and to the family who lost who's and to the family who's lost their husband, father, uh, I don't remember the trooper's name, but, I mean, I'm deeply sorry. He was a good guy. I mean, I knew him personally. I saw him in the papers. Unfortunately, I will be able to do what I can, but I may not be able to do much, unfortunately. But... Just know, y'all are in my prayers, day and night, and I will not rest until they bring this person to justice. I want to add that we are normal people. We do have the mental disease, but we are normal. 
we we just have anxiety issues and problems that you can't physically see we don't we don't show it on our faces we don't tell everyone everything you know it's it's a very hard thing to talk about you can't it's hard to understand and you know some people don't understand when you sit there and make fun of somebody it really hurts them and so I want everybody and I'm sure officer Drek here once everybody you see somebody in your school being bullied go tell a principal stand up for them it, it, it is not fun it this this is not fun because you I've graduated you know I don't know how I did but I did I graduated he didn't because of how bad his was and how I got through mine was I listened to music I had friends I could talk about anime with around my senior year um, just stuff like that I don't know how I got to it I mean I even was bullied by a teacher sitting there saying when and my my videos that I did in her class are on my YouTube channel Julie Anime Lover. And first video, oh, the creepy chip girl. Oh, the creepy ex-girlfriend. Every single video that we made, I was in, in this class, and every single video, it was something different. The creepy girl. And there is no cure for this mental disease. Um, they, basically, all they can do for us is give us medicine, like anti- depression uh, antidepressants and give us therapy however therapy does help and it it does help the symptoms um, you know you talk about it you know basically it it it, it helps you cope um, and remind you that is not your life you know your life is what you are now um, Devin here He's trying to be a YouTuber, and he's doing a pretty darn good job. He's a good kid, um, even though he's only five years younger than me. Sorry, I'm calling you a kid. Um, anyway, um, you know me, I'm married, happy about that, and, you know... It, it's hard to explain sometimes when I'm having a moment to people. You know, I've been called a freak while having a moment. Um, and sometimes you can't control it because you're sitting, you know, you, you, you're sitting somewhere and you're trying to be normal. And you have a, you, I mean, we are normal. We're normal human beings. But um, you have a flashback or something that, it, like, really gets to you. And you're sitting there trying not to grab your head and go like this or breathe and you can't breathe. Um, I've had flashbacks sit me, send me into panic and anxiety attacks. I've had um, an anxiety attack out of nowhere um, at just for no reason. I've cried for no reason. I've sh screamed for no reason before. It just... It happens, and then sometimes when people ask you questions, you don't know the answer to, and they ask you again, it just makes you mad. Anyway, thanks. So, I want to. So, I think I'm going to stop the video here before it gets too out of control or with feelings and emotions. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and have a nice day.